and see you guys there. Welcome back to Pops and Props. Today I'll be showing you how to make Lucille from The Walking Dead. So let's go get started. All right, so before we get into the build, let me just uh, list off the materials we need for this build. First off, we will need a baseball bat. That's pretty obvious. Uh, we will also need some black acrylic paint for the Louisville logo, some paint brushes, a stain of your choosing. Now I'm going to pick special walnut because I think it's the closest to the actual photo of the bat. Uh, for the barbed wire, we're going to be using, this is 18 gauge steel wire. And with that, we're also going to use 18 gauge aluminum wire for the barbs themselves. We're gonna need some fencing staples. We need some spray paint. We're gonna need a dark gray. Uh, this is just a flat primer, but it'll do the job. And a flat black. I'm gonna use these for weathering the barbed wire. And then last but not least, we're gonna need some clear gloss finish. So this is just used to protect the bat before we put on the barbed wire, just to keep it safe. Um, we could also use semi-gloss, which would also be fine. We don't want the bat too glossy. <clears throat> I also got this test strip that I put stain on and I labeled them. It's kind of hard to see, but I think I'm going to go with the middle one here in special walnut, which is this stain here. And I think that will be the best for the bat. In this clip, I'm basically just sanding off the shine off of the bat. I'm using a palm sander and you kind of have to press a little hard, but eventually you'll get that shine off the bat. Guys, always remember to wear some face protection. It just helps so much you don't breathe any dust or anything. Now I'm just going in with some hand sanding. I used 220 grit sandpaper. So after all the sanding, this is what your bat should look like. I'm pretty happy with it, but I'm going to go in and do a little bit of weathering before I stain it. Take a rasp or chisel and make some dents on the bat. After that, I stain the bat. Took a few coats to get the desired color I wanted. This is what the baseball bat looks after one coat. I don't think it's dark enough, so I'm going to end up probably doing three or four coats. Now I'm marking the Louisville logo onto the baseball bat. This is just a rough spot for where I'm going to paint the logo onto. This just helps as a guideline. I'm just going in with a pencil, making one mark here and another mark here, roughly the size of the oval. And that's what it should look like. Now I draw out the logo onto the baseball bat. I really took my time with this to make it look as perfect as I could. This is what it should look like. Here I'm just going in with my acrylic black paint and I paint the outline first this is what it should look like. And then after that, I thicken it up very carefully. I really take my time with this. This is what the logo should look like now. I think it looks a little too perfect, so I'm going to go in with some sandpaper and roughen it up a bit. I go in with some sandpaper and roughen up the logo. I also do the bat. Now I am spraying it with a semi-gloss clear coat. Before I did this, I wiped down the bat with a rag to get rid of the dust. Well, it's kind of a mess down here, but I need a place to wrap things up. I hope you guys enjoyed this first part tutorial for how to make Lucille from The Walking Dead. Part two, I'll be showing you guys how to make the barbed wire and how to wrap the barbed wire around the bat. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of this content. Thanks for watching.